Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashley and today is gonna be a day in the life like a sick vlog because we are sick. Thankfully today I'm feeling so much better than I was feeling yesterday, but I'm still trying to like take oh. Ethan just fell and hurt his head, <laughs> but um, he's okay. But I had to do a curbside pickup that way I could get all the stuff to help us feel better. And thankfully my husband is feeling much better as well. So we're hoping the kids don't catch it. They seem to be okay. They're actually at school today. Over here they did say that as long as the kids aren't showing symptoms, even if we have it, um, they can still go to school. But of course if they have like a temperature or any symptoms, then we keep them home. So thankfully they're feeling okay. So they're at school today. Ethan, be gentle with him. <laughs> yeah be careful i thought i would just go ahead and pick up the camera today thankfully i am feeling better to actually vlog because yesterday i did not feel good at all but i'm going to quickly show you guys what i got from heb all right so i picked up some more of these suja health shots i got the vitamin d and zinc this one's also for immunity. It's turmeric and probiotics. And this one has black elderberry, um, zinc, and probiotics. There we go, focus. <laughs> um, I really like these. They are spicy, but they're really good. And then I haven't tried these before, so I thought I would give them a try. They are zen, turmeric, and ginger shots. So I got enough, that way both me and my husband can take some. I also went ahead and got some kombuchas just because it's good for your gut health. And obviously, if you take care of your gut, it's gonna help your immune system. So, I got two of those. And then my husband has been wanting squeeze butter, so I finally got some squeeze butter for him. And then you guys know I've been using the Kerrygold butter. Um, this one, though, it has canola oil in it, so I thought maybe it'd be a little bit more spreadable because the other one is like really stiff and not very spreadable, even though it says it's supposed to be. So I thought I would give this one a try because I really do love the taste of Kerrygold and it's made from um, grass-fed cows, so I just love that. And then I was watching one YouTuber and you guys, her hair was gorgeous. I will put her name at the bottom of the screen because I cannot remember um, her name. I just found her recently on YouTube and she has been drinking bone broth and saying that it's helping her hair grow. And you guys, her hair was gorgeous. So. I picked up some bone broth. I'm gonna try to drink it, I don't know. I mean, I guess I can just like, you know, sip on it throughout the day, but we'll see how it tastes. And then um, I went ahead and picked up these because they popped up online as well when I searched um, for bone broth. And so this sounded good. It's mushroom bisque. Um, so it's a soup. This was way expensive, but I thought I'd give it a try, see how it tastes, and then maybe I can try to like replicate it at home. Um, so I picked that up. And then I need to get some more laundry done today. I started yesterday washing the kids' sheets. I got the girls done, but now I need to do the boys' room and our sheets. So I picked up some Lysol laundry sanitizer. And then we were completely out of almond milk. So I got the unsweetened vanilla silk almond milk. I picked up some orange juice for the kids, that way they can drink it, get their vitamin C in. Ethan has been begging for this ever since he saw it, so I'm gonna make him a cup of it here in just a second. He also wanted strawberries, so I got some strawberries. And then I ran out of my um, magic erasers recently. I was cleaning the stairs, like the walls near the stairs, and I needed some more, so I picked those up. And then my friend Becca from, um, her channel name is Happily Ever Becca. She also has a vlogging channel. She was talking about these magic eraser sheets on her Instagram stories and how great they work. So I thought I would give them a try. I haven't tried them out, but I love magic eraser. They seriously work great on everything. So I got those. And then it is time for the kids to get some new toothbrushes. So I picked these up for them. And then I also got another drying mat because I really need another one. I love this one, which this one I got at HEB too, like years ago um, from my San Antonio HEB. 
but I rarely wash it, which is disgusting. So I went ahead and got this one. That way we can like, you know, swap them out and wash the other whenever I need to. But that is everything that I got from HEB. So as you guys saw in um, my video, the get it all done, my husband did test positive for you know what. So um, he's been home since obviously he tested positive. So he's actually upstairs right now on a work for like phone call meeting. So. I gotta try not to be loud for a little bit and keep him quiet, but I wanna go ahead and pull off my sheets and bedding and stuff and get those washed. And then I also need to get the boy stuff washed. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull the sheets off, get those going. I also need to wash some uniform shirts because we lost one of Austin's shirts. Now he only has two. I need to get him some more in Aubrey this morning. She was like, mom, I don't have any clean shirts. So she had to wear a dirty shirt to school, but I mean, thankfully she doesn't really get her clothes that dirty, but I've got to get some laundry done. So we're gonna get some laundry done really quick, give y'all some laundry motivation. I'll show you guys, cause I haven't been feeling well. This house is like in shambles, but I wanted to show you, Dwayne boxed up all of his Pokemon stuff. Now we just have to take it to storage and you guys, it's seriously gonna be so heavy to carry. We were planning on doing that, but obviously, you know, we got sick and stuff, so we'll we'll do that once we're all better bring that to storage and these are just some extra bins he's gonna box up um the stuff that's upstairs in the game room they're just empty boxes um he's saving for like the next time we move so he's gonna box them up into that container but uh, this room is just it's such a mess <laughs> uh but at least we're making progress So I just went ahead and heated up some bone broth. I'm about to try it out. Hopefully it doesn't taste too bad. Okay, let's do a taste test. It doesn't smell too bad. Tastes like soup, but almost has like a little, I don't know if it's cause my throat kind of hurts, but it kind of burns my throat. I wonder if they put any like, flavors in here let's see oh yeah they do have like garlic um black pepper maybe that's what i'm tasting the black pepper it's got like a little bit of spice to it but not too bad at all and if it helps my hair grow i can definitely drink this so i'm gonna drink this it's probably like a cup worth I try to do like one serving a day and i'll probably get some more if it's you know if i start liking it <laughs> Go away. Go away. No, I'm just go away. drinking my bone broth still. Ethan wanted to watch um, Hotel Transylvania. He's so funny. He's like, oh, scary. Ethan, do you like it so far? <laughs> Is it scary? Yeah. Yeah? It just started. He's too funny, but. Finishing this up, just kind of relaxing a little bit, trying to motivate myself to get up and get some cleaning done. I do have to record a clean, like, portion Mommy. of my cleaning video yeah. for my cleaning channel. They go away. They go away? Yeah. Oh, they go away. Yeah. Um, 
so I'm gonna be doing that in a little bit probably when Ethan takes a nap so we're just relaxing right now and hanging out I probably need to do something with my crazy hair cuz I look like a hot mess right now so <laughs> excuse the way I look but we're just relaxing hanging out best way to spend the day when you are sick yesterday I literally did nothing those suja shots like I took so many of them yesterday yesterday I honestly feel like that's like a huge reason why I feel so much better today but yesterday I did not do anything I was seriously so weak like when I went to go pick the kids up from school I felt like death like I did not even want to sit up so it was really bad when I came home I just curled up on the couch and took a nap like it was so bad but thankfully today is much better oh you rolled it nice Whoa, that's a lot. Turn off the light. now so Ethan is still napping and I cleaned the entire time so long that my sheets are already done washing and I'm ready to put them on the bed but I'm so happy I'm done with my cleaning video which is great because I was really worried I wasn't gonna have one for Sunday because of the sickness but I have a video so that is good but we're gonna go ahead and put the sheets on the bed and then I need to start some clothes to get like uniform shirts washed before I put my comforter in because my comforter is probably gonna take the rest of the day to dry. So, I hope I hear Ethan waking up. So I'm gonna put the sheets on really quick and then we're gonna go grab Ethan. I have four super ripe bananas. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some banana bread with them. This is a very basic recipe. I'm sure I've shared it with y'all before, but um, here it is if y'all wanna take a screenshot. But we're gonna mix up this banana bread really quick. That way I have time to get it fully cooked before I have to leave and get the kids from school. This 
Jesus or good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin I have to go up to Adrian's school and pick her up because the nurse called and said that she had like a hundred fever and um, I guess she said her stomach and throat hurts. So thankfully my husband is home because I was like about to put the banana bread into the oven when she called. So thank goodness uh, he's here. So he's going to check on my banana bread. I told him. Do not forget about it. I will be so upset. I'm really looking forward to banana bread. But we're gonna head up, go pick up Adrian really quick. I have not even not even 45 minutes until it's time for me to get the other kids. So depending on when I head back this way, I might not even like head back to the house. <laughs> we'll just see. Just got Adrian. So they said no school for her tomorrow since she had a hundred fever. Um, and then they don't have school on Monday because it's um, a holiday. So she's gonna have an extra long weekend, but it's 2.35. We might have a little time to head home before getting the other kids. So we can head back, but Adrian, how are you feeling? Not good. What's wrong, your stomach hurt or your throat? Both. Your nose looks red. You blowing it a lot? Yeah. Hopefully it's just a little cold, but. There was, there was about like six people in my class that had the same shit. Nathan, oh really? She said like six kids weren't there today. Everyone's no, not getting. six kids weren't there, six kids were. Oh, oh the, the same day. symptoms today? Yeah. Oh, but she said like, there was only 16 kids in her class today, but usually there's 24. 24, so a lot of kids are out and a lot of kids are sick, so Mom. everyone is getting sick right now. There's no time to borrow today, well something's gotta give today, it's a good day to It is just about to be dinner time and I think what we're gonna do is have some leftovers. So I made those chicken quesadillas the other day. I filmed it and we have some leftover shredded chicken. So I think we're just gonna make some plain old cheese and chicken quesadillas. Keep it super simple since obviously I did not plan anything for today. Yesterday we did pizzas for dinner because I did not feel like cooking, obviously. So today is gonna be another super simple dinner. This is a great go-to dinner because I know the kids will eat it without complaining, which is always a good thing. So I took out some of this dill weed honey fish the other day, my salmon, and I haven't cooked it yet. It's been like two days since it's thawed out. Hopefully it's still good. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the air fryer, eat this, and I might also make a quesadilla to go with it just because that sounds really good, but I'll probably use my like fiber, my high fiber, low carb tortillas. 
that way, you know, makes it a little bit healthier. Jinxi has been such a beggar recently. <laughs> Yoda, I know, there's Yoda begging and the cat. <laughs> They're so funny. And we're eating some pineapple with our dinner. So good. Using this cheese and these tortillas for my quesadilla. Finished up dinner. Jinxie is such a beggar recently. It's so cute. He's lucky I love him. I let him have the rest of my fish. But now I gotta fold some clothes because um, some of the blankets and stuff are done. So I'm gonna go ahead, fold those up. I need to clean up the kitchen, get that tidied up. I just got off the phone too with my stepmom. Today is her birthday. So I was calling her and wishing her a happy birthday. I mailed her out these stacked books. They turned out super cute. I can't wait for her to get them. I'll have to put a picture of them up on the screen for you guys. I wish I would have recorded when I made them, but they turned out so cute. So hopefully she loves them and they don't get messed up in the mail. But I'm gonna quickly give you guys a little bit of cleaning motivation. That's okay. stair rail right there. Let's go take a bath. No, you can have a sip upstairs. It's good. It's good, huh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> me, no. Are you so fresh and clean? <laughs> you so fresh and so clean? Oh, God. 
<laughs> just finished giving the boys a bath. Now the girls are getting into the bathtub. We're just hanging out watching some Thundermans. <laughs> One, two. But my nose is getting super stuffy. Hopefully this doesn't last long because I feel like I cannot breathe out of my nose. But I need to go ahead and start editing this video because it has to go up tomorrow. So I'm gonna have a busy night editing. It's almost Ethan's bedtime. It's 7.15 right now. So I'm gonna lay him down in about 15 minutes and get to editing this. But I really hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. I know it wasn't like super exciting, but I had so much to get done with just like washing sanitizing and all of that fun stuff but if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it really does support my channel and if you're new here I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family I do upload Monday Wednesdays and Fridays tons of motherhood content like vlogs get it all done shop with me's and so much more so I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!